Leo rising, May 2024, is a month where you're focused on career, your overarching mission, how you show up in the world, and some other things. And the journey for you begins on the first when Venus and Taurus in your 10th house of career makes a square aspect to Pluto and Aquarius in your seventh house of one-on-one -on -one relationships. It looks to me like things are going really well for you at work. You're saying all the right things. I have the hiccups. <clears throat> you're doing all the right things. <clears throat> Whatever insights or contributions that you're making are being well received. People like you. However, it's difficult to enjoy the sweetness of these small wins because they're coming at the cost of a one on one relationship. So either your partner doesn't agree with how many hours or how much focus is going into achieving these goals at work, or it's, you know, that typical tug of war between work and home relationship life balance. <clears throat> On the seventh, there's a new moon in Taurus showing a new beginning as it relates to career. This could be a promotion or being relocated, something that is overdue, but overwhelmingly exciting, positive, and stable. <clears throat> On the 12th to the 13th, we have the sun conjunct Uranus and Taurus in your 10th house. Sun is the gravitational pull. So either you are saying something that is trying to instigate change or innovation, or your superior is attempting to do that. And immediately after, a couple days actually, from the 17th to the 19th, <clears throat> the sun is then conjunct Jupiter, which says you took a leap of faith, you said the thing that no one was thinking of, and it pays off. If that's not a reflection of this innovative, unexpected conversation that happened on the 12th to the 13th, then the sun conjunct Jupiter is about getting promotion, getting recognition, getting acknowledgement, getting a gift. <clears throat> Maybe financial, maybe it's just, again, appreciation. On the 18th, Venus makes a conjunction to Uranus and Taurus. Maybe you meet someone at work, maybe someone that you are in a conversation with is saying the thing that you need to hear to remain inspired or to make the next best choice. It feels like the epiphanies and the breakthroughs are directly tied to the conversations that you're having. It's not only liberating to the company, but it's also liberating to yourself. It feels like you're walking around unchaining people. <laughs> on, on the 19th to the 28th, Jupiter and Taurus makes a sextile aspect to Neptune and Pisces. It feels like for some of you, you're coming out of a relationship. And if this is the case, making so much money, things going really well at work is helping you let this investment go. If it's not that, there is an outstanding balance tax <clears throat> financial obligation that is finally being paid off because of your promotion or your advancement. On the 23rd, there is a full moon in Sagittarius in your fifth house, another indicator of a breakup because full moons are endings, conclusions and completions. The fifth house talks about, not the hiccups, <clears throat> a romantic situation. So either you're releasing a creative project, you're releasing a partner, or you're having a one night stand and you know that is what it is on the 22nd to the 23rd we have sun and gemini making a trine aspect to pluto and aquarius there's a gravitational shift so it's not so much about work anymore although there is something still happening in the workplace now it's okay cool i got this promotion now i need to network and something about your focus shifting makes things go more smoothly in a one-on-one -on -one relationship. Not sure if that's romantic or a business partnership, but like whoever is your go-to is helping you socialize or vice versa. On the 22nd to the 23rd, Venus makes a conjunction to Jupiter in Taurus in your 10th and dancing on your 11th. So Venus is socializing pleasantries. Jupiter is gifts this is the party of the year kind of <laughs> and it's happening for you at work or at a work event so make sure that you're doing something that you value you are contributing to something that you stand by that you want your life to be a testament to because i feel like you'll attract all the right people like go out socialize turn turn yourself in <laughs> <laughs> I, I wasn't gonna say turn up either okay i'm just gonna move on because I'm, I'm getting all scattered literally just socialize bring yourself out on the 26th jupiter enters gemini for the next year it's going to be here 
which means that this area of socializing, networking, long-term goals and aspirations, Jupiter there is I'm bringing gifts. You need people to help you get to where you want to be. Here they are. Here comes your soulmates. Here comes your soul tribe. Here comes the information that you require to help you figure out this puzzle of life. On the 30th to the 31st, Jupiter in Gemini makes a trine aspect to Pluto and Aquarius. Again, your extended network and your one-on-one -on -one relationships seem to be working together in some way, shape, and form. And on the 31st, Mercury makes a conjunction to Uranus and Taurus, a, a, a conversation around something unexpected. So maybe you need to bring commentary and language to a curveball that was thrown to you at work, or someone says something that leaves everyone puzzled, or there is a solution that you've been trying to work towards. And this is the moment where you have mental clarity and you're like, ah, the reason why this isn't working is because we need to be doing things differently. Let's try this. And in Born in That, we have a solution. So that is what I see. If you want to learn more, you can find me at wellandrising.com forward slash services. Toodles.